in the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary to exit the train, disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. The Black Mesa Hazard Course Decathlon will commence this evening at 1900 hours in the Level 3 facility. The semifinals for high security personnel will be announced in a separate secure broadcast transmission. Remember, more lives than yours may depend on your fitness. who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team? Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines, Please contact our civilian recruiting team. The Black Mesa facility is an equal opportunity employer. Radiation and biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation safety officer immediately. Work safe. Work smart. Your future depends on it. Now arriving at Sector C test labs and control facilities. Mr. Freeman, looks like you're running late. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. Put some pep in that step, Freeman. You're laden up as it is. Aw, oh, man, you cut the ponytail. Sell out. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. Security Officer Schwenk reports medical emergency in administration center. Ah, Gordon.
Good morning, Dr. Freeman. But the thermal protection system seems to be online now. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Hard to find good help these days. Yes, about that. We're going to need you to come in this weekend. What? I've already made plans! Don't worry. You can always attend the next convention. Drat. You'll just have to wait until after the test. You forgot to carry the two. Or was it the three? Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? Got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through here. Doctor Escobedo, please call two two seven. We can talk at lunch, Gordon. Oh, would you look at that. Freeman actually did show up for work this morning. Looks like somebody here owes me lunch. Well, good morning, Freeman. I'm not smug. I'm just better than uh, you. Yep, yep, yep. There's a pepperoni pizza in my near future. Yes, let me choke on it. You'll just have to wait until after the test. Big day today, eh, Freeman? Good morning, Gordon. You'll just have to wait until after the test. The sample was just sent down to the test chamber. living in the past. That experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction, though? You should focus on inventing something new and unique. He does have a point. Oh, but this is more than a replication, I assure you. For one, it shows how far our field has come since the original study was published, and to say nothing of the modern perspective necessary to monitor its influence. I mean, combined with today's technology, I've recreated- Bah! I can't stand to hear another word of this malarkey. Don't mind him, but here's something to think about for the next time. You and your sugar-coated airsots are absolutely full of it! Creativity is the art of hiding your influence. Now let's get back to work. We should at least try to look busy. Maxwell's demon! It's cold in here. We can talk at lunch, Gordon. Morning, champ. Hello. Another day, another dollar. What the hell? <laughs> you think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will never hear the end of this. Yeah, you best make like an atom and split.
Can you access the mail server? Just leave me out of this. Believe you me, I won't be taking the blame for this one. Gordon, you've already done enough damage here. Get to work. They've been paging you all morning, Dr. Freeman. Best get downstairs before you cause any more disasters. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Triple pleated khakis? Preposterous. And these ludicrous penny loafers. Nobody here has an eye for fashion. Toilet paper. Be a dear and fetch me a roll of toilet paper. Uh, hello? Hello? Could somebody get me some toilet paper? Does this lab coat make me look fat? Excuse me. Emergency! Control yourself, Gordon! Uh, don't panic, Harold. Don't panic. Would it be too much to ask for a roll of toilet paper? Go bother someone else, Gordon. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Doctor Robertson, report to Lambda Reactor Complex. Hello, old chum. We can talk at lunch, Gordon.
did you catch that last punctuation? It's not good. You'll just have to wait until after the test. Now where did I leave that shutdown procedure chart? I'm sure it'll show up sooner or later. remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. Double check the Brewster's plate's angles and make sure the superluminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback. How curious. The acousto-optic modulators are on the fritz again. Pfft. I assure you, we've compensated for any contingency. Go bother someone else, Gordon. Gordon, I'm busy. You'll just have to wait until after the test. This is going to have to wait, Can this Gordon. wait? Weren't you supposed to be in the test Excuse chamber me, half Gordon, an hour ago? But I'm rather busy now. We can talk You'll at lunch, You'll just have Gordon. to wait until after the test. What's up, Doc? It's been a mess down here this morning. Have fun. Ready for another rousing Gordon, day? This had you? better be important. Mm -hmm. I thought not. If another instrument malfunctions today, I'm going to explode. Please relax. Things could be much, much worse. Ah, Gordon, there you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Greetings, Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last-minute changes... They're a bit strange to just... Oh! It's about to go critical! What in the blazes is going on oh. with our equipment? Oh. It was never meant to do this in the first place. Oh. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. By Beckrell's ghost! The radiation level is off the charts. This could take a bit longer than I anticipated. You know, this is far from the glory I had envisioned as an undergrad. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, and I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, you do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push another button. Again. Come now. You're overreacting. <sighs> I don't know how much longer I can abide these perfunctory tasks. I need more time for myself. Ha. Huh. Don't kid yourself. You wouldn't know what to do with free time if you even had any. That tears it. I'm going to check with the office upstairs and see how many vacation days I've accrued over the past 25 years. It's high time I took a break from all this. Certainly, but before you do, 
activate the electron multiplier and report the reading from the micro channel plates. You'll just have to wait until after the test. Just a minute, Gordon. Hello, old chum. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Oh, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't Gordon feel doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. The higher-ups will have our heads if we delay this experiment any longer. Are you waiting for something, Gordon? He's just savoring the moment. One day he'll look back to this as the beginning of his illustrious career. You're just postponing the inevitable. Just go on and get it over with. Once this is over, you can slip out of that HEV and get back to the real work. Paperwork. Lots and lots of paperwork. Catching the opening night jitters, Gordon? Can't say I blame you. Don't worry, Dr. Freeman. You'll do just fine. Testing. Testing. <coughs> Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that will bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Take it from here. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one. I'm seeing predictable phase arrays. Stage two emitters activating now. Uh, Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate in this level. Hey, please work as quickly as you can. Overhead capacitors to 105 cents. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably. But I'm showing a small discrepancy in... Well, no. It's no is an acceptable doctor. Sustaining sequence. We've just been informed that the sample is ready. It should be coming up to you at any point. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Standard insertion for non-standard specimen. Go ahead, Gordon. Slot the carrier to the analysis port. Oh, God. Shut it down. Shut it down. 
hazard suit. All the phones are out. I can't reach anyone in the facility. We need to get to the surface and let someone know that we're stranded down here. There's no telling what kind of danger is. Uh. My god, what have we done? Fascinating. Would you look at that? We can't afford to waste time. You'll need me for the retinal scanner. I'm certain the rest of the science team will help you along the way. And for God's sake, keep that suit on until you're in the clear. You hear me? What an interesting anterior. I wonder where its stomach is.
Gordon? Gordon! Man, am I glad to see you. What the hell are these things, man? And why are they wearing science team uniforms? Let's get the hell out of here. Shoot the damn thing! One down and hell if I know how to left. Jesus, this place is in bad shape. See that shot?
I can't! Thank God. Listen, I know where you can find some more weaponry. There's a security office not far from here. Take me with you, and I'll unlock the door. Tally-ho! Oh, safe haven. No. Oh. Well, at any rate, over there's the weapons I spoke of. Ah!
Gordon, is that you? Is it safe? Ah! Oh, oh dear. I do believe I soiled myself. Um, run along, Freeman. I have some sordid business to attend to. Oh. 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 Oh.